Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here to share my N2T throttling test between the Redmi K40 Pro, the Xiaomi Mi 11, and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now, a big part of this test is to see how the K40 Pro manages in four extreme N2T throttling benchmarks in a row, how the Redmi Note 10 Pro does with its Snapdragon 732G mid-range processor. And of course, I'll be measuring the CPU temps of these phones and the ambient temps as well. Now we're well aware of the overheating issues on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Is it gonna be the same story as the Mi 11 with this K40 Pro? And how's the Redmi Note 10 Pro gonna stack up? Let's have a look. All right, so here we go. Got the CPU monitor in the background. You see the batteries are at 100%, 99 on these. So we'll be testing the battery drain of these phones as well. So let's go ahead and get started with test number one. Got my trusty Poco F1 to keep track of the time and it's 24.7 degrees in this room. Let's go ahead and get started. Test number one, here we go. Okay guys, test number one completed and here we see the baseline scores for these phones. Redmi K40 Pro, 719,000. Mi 11, 671,000. The Redmi Note 10 Pro, 275,000. So a bit lower scores from these two than I expected, but the Redmi K40 Pro doing a solid job here. Now let's go to the CPU monitor on these phones. Did I see 51 degrees there on the Mi 11, 47 on the Redmi K40 Pro, and 42 just about on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now checking the ambient temps, 42.5, 43.5, 43.5, so let's jump into test number two. Here we go. All right, test number two completed. And what did you notice there, guys? The Mi 11 has dipped significantly. These are the results. 670,000 on the K40 Pro, 619 on the Mi 11, 248,000 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And the Mi 11's display has now dimmed. And now let's go check the CPU monitor for these phones. 49 degrees, 51 degrees. And this CPU monitor on the Redmi Note 10 Pro seems to be having some issues. So I do have a backup. There we see it, 47 degrees, 46 degrees on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So still staying the coolest of these three. And now let's go ahead and check the ambient temps. 44.7 on the K40 Pro. 45 degrees on the Mi 11, 39.8 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And so there we see it, some serious dimming on the Mi 11, and it seems to me the K40 Pro's overheating issues are not as bad as the Mi 11's. But let's go now to test number three, here we go. And here we go guys, test number three completed, but let's go ahead and check these scores. 690, that is a lot better than I expected this time around. The Mi 11 dips even further, 610,000, and there's the Redmi Note 10 Pro at 242,000. It is holding its own, checking the CPU monitor of these phones. 52 degrees, I just saw there, 51. So these are pretty hot devices, and let's check with the other CPU monitor. 50 degrees, 48 degrees, just about on this phone. So they're all getting pretty hot, but the Redmi Note 10 Pro is definitely staying the coolest, and the Mi 11 though is still staying the warmest of the three. Let's go ahead now to test number four to wrap this and to do throttling test up. Here we go. And there we go folks, test number four, 672,000 on the Redmi K40 Pro, 602,000 on the Xiaomi Mi 11. It stayed above 600,000, but not by much, and what a major dip for this phone. Meanwhile, the Redmi Note 10 Pro ends at 229,000, dropping only a small amount here from the previous test. Now checking the CPU monitor of these phones, 55 degrees we saw there, 55 degrees on the Mi 11. Both of these ending up very hot. And the Redmi Note 10 Pro is hovering around 49, 50 degrees. There we see it. And last check of the ambient temperatures of these phones. 46.8 on the K40 Pro. 44.7 on the Mi 11. 
40.8 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And guys, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the Redmi K40 Pro, it has been trying to turn off its display like after 30 seconds. And maybe you noticed it as well, there was a little warning that came up on the K40 Pro that said the phone was overheating and as a precaution, the phone was turning off LAN, GPS, and a bunch of other features. So maybe there are some measures that Redmi has now included to keep this phone from overheating too much. But anyways, we're done with this test. Let's wrap it up here at nearly 45 minutes and let's talk about these results. All right, guys, so final verdict in this and to do throttling test. I think we know who the biggest loser of this test is, and it is none other than the Xiaomi Mi 11, which is so hot to the touch. Jeez, that's hot. And let me tell you, it is just unfortunate that the overheating issues are still plaguing this phone. But this time, I think the Mi 11 performed even worse because it dipped majorly in this test. Meanwhile, in second place, I would give it here to the Redmi K40 Pro. It did actually very well and did not dip its scores too much, dropping around 50 thousand points in this test but it did also get pretty hot and I can tell that Redmi has put in some measures to reduce the overheating on this phone but all in all guys if I had to give it to one device for the win I'm giving it here to the Redmi Note 10 Pro not only did this device stay cooler to the touch throughout this entire test but it also did not dip as significantly in its benchmarks as well and of these three phones it's the only one that I can actually pick up and comfortably use at this point point. and folks I think this just proves once and for all that the Snapdragon 888 series definitely does get hot and the K40 Pro was able to manage it better though than the Mi 11 but it still reached a high temperature 55 degrees and had to shut off a number of features to not throttle its scores too much all in all guys it looks like the Snapdragon 888 while being a very powerful chipset is a very hot chipset if you're in a 30 plus degree environment you may start are seeing even more overheating issues from this chipset. And so all in all guys, the Redmi Note 10 Pro takes it here, the lowest, least impressive scores of these phones, but definitely the one that stayed coolest. And in battery, you see here 76%, 79, and 87. The Redmi Note 10 Pro also has the edge here when it comes to battery and proportionally with a larger 5020 mAh battery, that would be the case. But it just shows you that even after four Antutu tests, this chipset is still managing and you're gonna get some great battery life out of this phone. But hit me up in the comments. Which phone would you pick here for the win? I gotta hand it to the K40 Pro. It did a lot better in this test than I expected, but hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. Stay tuned for more great content here on the Redmi K40 Pro and more great releases coming in this month on Frankie Tech. Stay tuned guys. March is gonna be a very exciting month. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one. K40 Pro, you did pretty good though, despite how hot you actually got.